Hey guys, this is Aditi and welcome to Adelicious. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make this popular Italian dessert called tiramisu, which is such a delicious combination of coffee with that cloudy mascarpone cream. It's just divine. You have to try it. The ingredients and quantities will be listed down below in the description box. So let's begin. So let's begin by making our soaking syrup for our lady fingers. So in a shallow bowl, add in coffee. instant coffee granules i'm using today along with some hot water and some granulated sugar mix it nicely till everything is nicely dissolved you can add a splash of marsala wine or any coffee based liquor here but today i'm opting for alcohol free set it aside to cool completely let's make our mascarpone cream to layer between our lady fingers so here i have some heavy whipping cream and uh, whip it till you get stiff peaks like this Keep it aside in the fridge till we need it. Moving on, here I have some egg yolks only. I have separated the yolks from the whites. I need the egg yolk only in this recipe. To that, add in some granulated sugar, and using the same hand blender, just break up the egg yolks. We don't need to beat it for long. And now it's time to heat them on a double boiler. Here in a saucepan, I have about an inch of water simmering away. To that. place your egg yolk egg yolk and sugar mixture and beat it till till the mixture becomes pale in color and it's thickened which should take about 5 to 6 minutes this is how it looks like after a minute and this is what it looks like after 5 to 6 minutes it's become nice and pale and has the mixture has thickened originally tiramisu recipe calls for raw egg yolks but i prefer cooking my egg yolks like this Now to the egg yolk and the sugar mixture add in some room temperature mascarpone cheese mascarpone is like an italian cream cheese it is a delicious cheese it doesn't have that tart flavor like the normal cream cheese add it to the egg yolk mixture and beat it till it becomes nice and smooth and there are no lumps of the mascarpone cheese in the mixture now it's time to add in the vanilla bean paste i like using paste away rather than extracts because i like the flex of vanilla running throughout the cream and once mixed add in the whipped cream mixture half of it to the egg yolk mixture and fold it till it's nicely incorporated and then add the rest of the whipped cream and fold it through you will get a nice thick cream like this the consistency would be something like this This cream should be velvety smooth. I could just eat it off with a spoon. Put the cream in the fridge till we are ready to use it. To assemble our tiramisu, we'll be using a six-inch ring mold like this. You can use a spring foam pan placed on a serving plate, along with a strip of parchment paper which I've cut to the height of the ring mold, and I'll line the inside of the ring mold with this parchment paper strip. Cut it to the size of the ring mold, and then stick it using a tape. The tape should be outside the ring mold and not in, inside touching the tiramisu and stick it nicely in place and this is how you line the mold. Let's start assembling. So for the sponge today I'm using the Lady's Italian Lady Finger Biscuits which are easily available in the grocery store. So all we have to do is soak the biscuits and arrange them to cover the entire base of the ring mold. The lady finger in the cool coffee mixture and just place it for about 1 or 2 seconds and don't overdo it else it will become mushy and place it in the ring mold. Continue doing this till all, all the base is covered. You can even use a vanilla sponge cake if you cannot find the lady fingers. To fit in the mold, you can cut the lady fingers into half and just cover the entire base of the mold. And this is how it looks like after I've covered the entire base. Add half of the cream to the lady fingers on top of the lady fingers and smooth it out using the back of a spoon. Once it's nice and even, place another layer of the sponge biscuits soaked in the coffee syrup. Just one or two seconds in the coffee mixture is enough for this pancake, and this is how it looks like. And now it's time to pile on the remaining mascarpone cream. Pour the cream over the lady finger layer and spread the cream all around using the back of the spoon till it's nicely coating each and every nook and cranny of the mold. To smooth the top, using a large palette knife from the center of the ring mold, push the cream out. 
like this and do the same on the other side like this and then in one single stroke even out the cream on top of the mold. This is how it should look like and then place it in the fridge to chill for minimum 6 to 8 hours or preferably overnight. To make the tiramisu look even more prettier, I'm going to put some ladyfinger biscuits all around the cake. So here I have measured uh, the ladyfinger according to the height of the mold and then I'll cut all the ladyfingers according to the same size. Cut the biscuits using a serrated knife. So each ladyfinger gives me two equal halves which are perfect for the size of the cake. So I like the tiramisu to set overnight and it's nice and set at this point. Remove the ring mold, it'll be easy because of the parchment paper strip we have. Remove the parchment paper and place the remaining mascarpone cream in a piping bag fitted with a round tip nozzle which I use to pipe out a design on my tiramisu like this. Collops of cream while alternating the direction while piping. And this is how it looks like. This is a completely optional step. You can beautify the tiramisu however you want. Here I have some cocoa powder which I'll be dusting on top of the tiramisu. No tiramisu is complete without a dusting of good quality cocoa powder. And this is how it looks like. For cleaning up, now it's time to attach the cut lady fingers around the side of the tiramisu. Just take one lady finger and press it around the side of the tiramisu. It should stick easily because of the cream. Arrange it all around the tiramisu like this and then give it one nice press to make sure everything is nicely in place and this is how it would look like all around the tiramisu and now for the final decoration I'm gonna add in some white chocolate garnish like this and finally here I have some sugar pearls which I'll add on top of the tiramisu this is a completely optional step you can decorate the tiramisu however you want and this is how my finished product looks like. Let's slice this beauty and see how it looks from the inside. I just hope it looks as beautiful as from the inside as it looks from the outside. Moment of truth. Using a palette knife, I'll bring out a slice and look at the beautiful layers. It's nicely set. It's such a delectable and light dessert. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Hope you give this recipe a try. And if you do, don't forget to share a picture with me. Comment, like and share this video. And if you still haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button right away. See you again. Bye.